Hi, this is Omar at Top 5 E-Bikes, and this is a full review of the Heoki Cheetah, which is a full suspension, dual battery, fat tire e-bike. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you haven't subscribed to Top 5 E-Bikes, please do so right now, and also like this video. I also want to mention that you can go to top5ebikes.com where we have a bunch of reviews and accessory articles. So in addition to watching these videos, you can also check out our website. In this review, we're going to go over the specs of the Cheetah. We're going to tell you a little bit about our thoughts and our experience when we were test riding the Cheetah, and you'll see some footage of Santa Barbara, the Santa Barbara area. And then we'll get into what we liked about the Cheetah, what we didn't like, and then our final thoughts. All right, this is a spec portion of the video. I did want to start off with a little bit of a channel update. We do have quite a few e-bikes that we're going to be reviewing. I've been riding the XP by Electric, which is their newest cargo bike. We have the Magicycle Deer, the Hurricane by KBO, which is an old friend, but there's a new version of it, and a bunch of other e-bikes that are coming. Um, also, we have a few events that we're going to go to. We're going to go to the Otter Classic, which coincidentally, Heoki invited us to it. So they're one of the many vendors that are going to be at this, probably the biggest cycling event in the U.S., and now it's turned into a big e-bike e event. So we'll be there. We'll also be at Electrify Expo, which is in Long Beach, California. That's um, at the end of May, so we'll be there. But now let's get into the specs of the Heoki Cheetah. So this e-bike is $17.99, and there are two different versions of this e-bike. So you could get the dual battery version or the single battery version. So the dual battery version is $19.99. That's what we have right here. That's what you see. You see there's an extra battery there on top of the down tube so that's the extra battery and then there's a battery inside of the down tube now let's get into some of the actual specs so you got a 750 watt motor it actually peaks around a thousand or at least i've been seeing it peak around a thousand and what you end up getting stock at least without editing the settings is you get about 20 miles per hour but then after you edit the settings which i did then you can get up to around 25 26 miles per hour with throttle only and then you can get up to 27 28 uh, pedal assist at the highest level pedal assist so 750 watt now let's talk about the batteries so you have it's a 48 volt system and then you have a 16 amp hour that's actually integrated in the tube there and then this extra one is nine extra amp hours so you actually get a total of 48 volts 25 amp hours that's huge that's a big battery well actually you have two big batteries it does take a while to charge these batteries and unfortunately Heoki only gives you one charger but it does take a while with this with these two batteries you can get up to 85 miles of range i'm not going to test that i've been riding this around i've had no issues with the battery um, again the top speed is around 27 28 miles per hour with pedal assist this is a fat tire e-bike and you got the traditional 26 by 4 inch knobby fat tires it does have a payload capacity of 400 pounds which is a lot so this is kind of on the bigger side as far as or the largest side as far as payload capacity it is a heavy bike uh, much like many other fat tire e-bikes so it weighs around 73 pounds um, and it does have it is kind of a larger frame the other piece of this is and the i think the thing that differentiates the spike aside from the dual battery system is the fact that it's a full suspension so you can see here that you have the front suspension and then you have the other suspension which is in the rear all right let's see what we have up here on the front of the bike so you do have these like plastic grips and you do have a half twist throttle on the right so this is the throttle you have hydraulic brakes which you see these here the brand is Gemma never heard of that brand but they do have really good stopping power at least efficient stopping power um, and then you also have a little bit of a bell that's integrated and then when we turn on the bike what you'll see here is whoop, what you'll see here is you see speed you see the amount of wattage that's being outputted you see um, an odometer reading, and then you even have like a volt reading for the actual battery, so how much, how much charge is left, and then you see obviously the display here. Um, you even have something like temperature in Celsius, which is kind of weird. And then if we look at the front of the bike, which now it's twisting on me, you'll see that it does come with fenders. So you have a front fender. We have a back fender, except that I did not 
put it on. I wasn't able to put it on. I struggled with it a little bit, and so I just decided not to. I live in Southern California, so it's not that big of a deal. It does come with what looks to be, you know, a pretty nice rear rack, and then it does come with a front light. So you have this front light, which is kind of big, and then you also have an integrated rear light, which we actually had to install. Pretty simple to install. Overall, the look of this bike is great. So. I mean, again, this is a full suspension dual battery. So I think the look of the bike actually is aligned with what they were trying to do. And um, this kind of military style green, which is like a matte color, looks really good. And a lot of people have liked it. Actually, on my, on my way here to this park um, by the beach out here in Santa Barbara, a construction worker screamed out, nice bike. So um, a lot of people have liked the, the look of this bike. Um, I agree with them. I like it. I think. They did a really good job in just the look of the bike. I want to share some notes on my test rides with the Heoki Cheetah. I mostly rode on dirt trails, but I also was on paved roads and a little bit on the beach. I'm going to first talk about the motor. So the motor is a 750 watt. It has 90 newton meters of torque. The top speed out of the box is around 20 miles per hour. You're able to edit the settings to increase that and i was able to get up to 26 miles per hour with uh, throttle only and up to 27 28 pedal assist level so top speed is almost 28 miles per hour the other thing i would note about the motor and the controller is that it's pretty smooth in between um, when you make changes in between the pedal assist level so it's not jerky at all so it's pretty smooth and i think that that makes for a good rider experience with a cadence sensor uh, the other piece of this is that because you have 90 newton meters of torque, it does pretty well going up hills. Um, I didn't go up super steep hills and I didn't film any of that, but I thought it did better than some of the other fat tire e-bikes I've ridden, like the Rad Rover 6 Plus. One thing that's a almost a requirement with a fat tire e-bike and definitely one of this weight and one with this type of motor that gets up to 20 miles per hour is that you need to have good hydraulic brakes. And the Heoki does. So it's a brand that I've never heard of, and I mentioned this during the specs. Um, but uh, I can say that there's really good stopping power on these brakes. So I didn't have any issues, and I felt really comfortable, no matter what the speed I was going, that I was going to be able to stop and stop um, really quickly and safely. It is a heavy bike, and you can kind of feel it when you're riding, even though it's a full suspension. It is a fat tire e-bike, and I should note that most fat tire e-bikes weigh around the amount that this the cheetah weighs but it's still a really um a really heavy e-bike and really the biggest issue i see with it is more of portability as you're mounting it and dismounting it say from a bike rack or you're moving it within your house for example or if you have to carry it you would definitely likely need someone to help you it's also a really long e-bike so longer than most other e-bikes that it, we normally ride almost as long as a cargo bike the frame isn't foldable so um you know this one's going to be really difficult for you to store in places and some bike racks it might not even fit on some bike racks all right let me get into the things that i really liked about the cheetah the first thing i want to say is that it comes or at least we got the option with the dual battery so i never had to worry about um, range or I didn't get range anxiety so I was just ride and it didn't matter how I rode so I could be going full throttle pedal assist level five it was kind of nice um, this is one of the first dual battery e-bikes that I've ridden um, interestingly enough right now I have another one that I'm riding that has a dual battery so it's kind of nice to not think about um, range anxiety the second thing I really liked about this bike is that it's a dual suspension so um, haven't really ridden too many dual suspensions. There's a lot of dirt trails and we got the beach right next to us. So it was kind of nice to ride this in dirt trails. I rode it on the beach, although I didn't get footage of riding on the beach, but definitely on dirt trails and really comfortable. So that's the thing about this dual suspension that, or full suspension bike, that it's really comfortable. So if you're going to be riding on rough terrain, dirt trails, the beach, anything that's not paved, this is probably the type of bike that you want. Third thing I really liked is the motor. So it's 750 watts, it peaks at 1,000 watts, and you do have the watts that are shown on the screen. So as you're riding, you can tell what the max output is on the watts. It's not, I mean, there's definitely more powerful e-bikes. Like if I, I can think about the Ariel Kepler, which is 
max I think of 13 or 1400 watts, but it's definitely, it's a great motor for this type of bike. The next thing I really liked was just the look of the bike and I actually got a lot of compliments. Um, when I was filming the specs, which was a couple days ago, the specs portion of this video, uh, actually a, a, a construction worker on the street screamed out, hey, that's a nice bike. So I think in general, just like the looks of the bike are really good. They did a really good job with the color of it and just the look of it, even though obviously you have this other battery here, but it's just a great looking bike. It's really kind of an aggressive looking bike, I would say. So if you're looking for full suspension, you know, a bike to go uh, to use for camping or, you know, if you're going hunting trails, then, you know, just the look of this bike is, is great. And the last thing I really liked about this bike is that it's really comfortable. So I mentioned the full suspension that makes it really comfor comfortable, but even the saddle. So the saddle, the combination of the saddle, the full suspension, make it a really comfortable ride. You could probably make it even more comfortable. For example, you could add a, um, a seat post that has a suspension. You could also add a, uh, what's this thing called? An adjustable stem. You can also add an adjustable stem to make it a little bit more comfortable for you. But in general, for me, for my riding style, this was actually a really comfortable ride. All right, so now I'm gonna get into the things that I didn't like about the Cheetah. Um, the first one I would say is that it's just a really big bike. You can notice here, and we'll, we'll add some captions here of the length, but it's just a really long bike and it's big. It's, I'm 5'11", and even this frame size, this frame size can be difficult to mount and dismount. So um, for me, at least, it just, it's a really big bike. The second thing is, and kind of piggybacking on the first one, that it w the weight of the bike is, it's really heavy. So not only is it just big in terms of the size of the frame, it's also, it also weighs a lot. So it weighs 73 pounds. I believe the 73 pounds are without the second battery. So it may, may even weigh more than that. And that can make it difficult to mount and dismount onto a bike rack, for example, or depending on where you're gonna move it within your house. So it is a heavy bike. I mean, also keep in mind, you got a full suspension and dual battery, but um, I think it's also, you know, it's a really heavy bike. The third thing that I didn't like about this bike is that, you know, there are some really nice components on this. For example, you got the motor that's a nice size, you have um, hydraulic brakes, but some of these components for the price, I would have wished that they would have had some upgraded components, like for example, the thumb shifter. So it, has, it does have a Shimano drivetrain, but the shifter is this thumb shifter and the brakes are um, a brand called Gemma that I've never heard of. So um, they, they do have sufficient stopping power, but I just wonder, you know, could they have upgraded to more quality components, at least in those couple pieces. The last thing that I didn't like, and you can kind of see this here, there's no back fender or rear fender. And that's because it was really difficult to put on. I spent about 30 minutes. There's a really tight space here to actually install the rear fender. I've seen other videos from influencers that got this same bike. Um, they seem to have, you know, just deflating the rear tire or worst case, you could remove it. We live in Southern California. You could see it's beautiful out here. So it's not, it's not something we really need this rear fender. So I didn't really like that it was difficult to put on. I, again, you could put it on, you could remove the back tire or deflate the rear tire, and then you're able to, you're able to put it on. But um, I, you know, again, I didn't like that it was too difficult in my opinion to, to put on the rear fender. All right, so now that we've told you the specs of this e-bike, we've told you about our experience riding it, what we liked, what we didn't like, let me just close it out for you and give you our final thoughts. Overall, this is a great e-bike if you're in the market for a full suspension and especially a dual battery. So I don't think you're gonna find any other bikes that are in this price range that have all these features like hydraulic brakes, dual batteries, full suspension for $17.99 or $19.99, depending on which model you end up getting. So I think there's a lot of value there and there's some good components. Are they the best components across the board? Like every single um, component? No, but there's some really good ones and you got enough power, you got a full suspension, dual batteries, all for under $2,000. So I think this is a great option if you're looking for a bike to go um, camping with, to go on trails, to go hunting. So, um, you know, if you're looking for a bike to go on those type of trips, then I think the, the Heoki Cheetah full suspension is a great option. 
let us know what you think. Let us know if you were in the market for a similar type bike. What did you end up buying? Did you end up buying the Heoki Cheetah or another bike? Also let us know if you have any questions or comments and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Visit us at top5ebikes.com or some of our social media accounts. Thank you.